Joe says, there's very good fighters in other organizations, but I often feel like they're wasting their career. I see these elite fighters that are fighting in Bellator or PFL, and I'm like, hey, guys, no one's watching. I mean, some of, some people are watching. You're getting a bit of uh, a fan base. I don't want to disrespect, but there's a reality. There's the XFL, and there's the CFL. Then there's the fucking NFL. And if you're not in the fucking NFL, are you really playing football? Let's you go that. first. <laughs> you go first. Okay, first off, if you're not playing in the NFL, are you playing football? Yeah, you're playing football. I mean, when you're in college, it's football. When you're in high school, it's football. Football is football. I don't care what letters are in front of it. Now, read between the lines. Here's you shut the fuck <laughs> up. There's that this troll. This is why. No. <laughs> There's that troll. This is this is the one thing that Joe's right about. And this is what I've said all the time about the UFC and fighters, because you have to break this down and look at what's important. And what's important to each fighter is individual. And I've told fighters to their face, look, you need to decide what is the reason you're fighting? Is it to become famous? And if it is, the UFC is the best option for you. They have the best marketing and they are going to, if you do what you're supposed to do, they're going to put that marketing behind you and more people are going to know you than ever before. If that's the reason you're fighting, if you're fighting for money, they're not the best option. Okay. The PFL Bellator at the time all had to, they had to Josh. And it's because the UFC is the biggest. But the UFC has, you know, proven time and time again, look, besides a couple of people, the best, the, the best paid fighters are outside of the UFC. Okay. A couple in the UFC make really good money, really good money. Okay. But it's only a couple. And so you have to look and say, what is the reason you're fighting? And look, I've had, I've had guys say it both ways. You know, I'm, I am fighting, you know, they're 24 years old. They're 25 years old. I, I want, you know, I want to be the best in the world. I want everyone to know who I am. Go to the UFC, dude. That's where you need to be because what your ego is telling you, and it's okay. We all have an ego. There's nothing wrong with it. But what your ego is saying is I need people to, when I say, oh, I fight for a living. Really, who do you fight for? I fight for the UFC. They equate that to the NFL for football. Mm -hmm. Because if you say that I play football, right? And people go, you play football? You play in the NFL? No, I play for the XFL. People are automatically going to say, oh, that's a little bit different, just like what Joe is saying. If you say, I'm an MMA fighter. Do you fight in the UFC? No, I fight in the PFL. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that's different. It's just, what, what, what's, what's the difference between those? There's no difference. They're just two different promotions. But people, because the UFC's marketing has done so, automatically equate the UFC in the world of MMA with the NFL, and they should. It has reached that. So by saying, I fight for the UFC, that automatically establishes to anybody out there that's a casual, oh, you're actually good. That's the way they're looking. Now, that's not quite true because look at with the number of people that the UFC have, you know, they've got a lot of people on there that they're okay, but they're not, you know, they're definitely not, you know, uh, best in the world. They're d definitely not someone that is going to be a world champion. They're definitely not someone that someone from another organization cannot go and beat handily. Mm -hmm. But the top people they have are are that good. So you have to you have to just figure out what is it that you want. What Joe is doing here is he's working for his employer. He's working for his friend in Dana and saying it. And he's saying, I want to see, and I don't blame Joe for saying it, I want to see everybody in the UFC. Okay. I, I don't blame you because you want to see these guys fight these other guys here. But you're not paying them. And the UFC is not going to pay them. And so when you take a look at how much they can make fighting in these other leagues, 
and their egos are not so much that they really care about who knows them, you're going to find people that fame is everything. I'll tell you what, you know, what, what good is fame? It's a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Don't need it. Don't want it. But there are people that do. And so, you know, Joe's going to have his opinion. I look at it and I kind of laugh at it, but it's all good. Uh, let's, let's break it down. Let's break down. Look, let me just start off by saying that I don't have a problem whatsoever with what Joe says. I mean, Joe definitely, it, he hit some good points on this, very good points. Yeah. And, um, whether we agree with him uh, or not, not it's we, or whether people agree with him or not, there's very good fighters in other organizations. Well, we've been saying that everyone's been saying that I think people, people that have followed the sport, they know that. They know that there's other good fighters in one. There's they know. Well, he specifically good in this in, in this this quote. I don't know where. Uh, oh, you got it from MMA Junkie. They've altered what Joe said here too. Okay, because he really who he's talking about. He's talking about Johnny Eblen, because he brings up Johnny Eblen's name. Okay, and he says, "Look, Johnny Eblen is that he's a fucking monster, man. I mm -hmm. I would love to see him fight in the. Yeah. Okay, so you're talking about Johnny Eblen. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you. You're right. He would be awesome mm -hmm. to watch in the UFC's 185 pound division. In Absolutely. Fact, he's the sparring partner at times of the guy who's your champion right yeah. now. And you know, everyone knows how those things would go. We had Eric Nixick on, on mm -hmm. the fucking you know, show. And who did he say? If I was, you know, Hey, if you could train anyone, who's the guy? He goes, Johnny. Evelyn. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yep. But I mean, like, like I was saying with this though, this, his quote here, there's very good fighters in other organizations. He's absolutely correct. I'm just going to break down the the what the quote. What, yeah, the quote. But I often feel like they're wasting their career. Now, like you said, and like I've I've said for a long time, is it really comes down to what's important to the fighter. That's it. That's where like we we as fans, of course, we want to see them all in under one banner. But when you do that, you're taking away what they get paid they don't have as much negotiating rights. And that's the biggest thing until the UFC starts paying the fighters a lot more money, the lower level fighters, the mid tier fighters, or even the top, the top, I don't think people realize the top three, top four, just because you're in that top three or four doesn't mean you're getting paid. It just means you're really fucking good. Yep. That's what it means. And so it says, but I often feel like they're wasting their career. So let's figure out what's good for them. Let's figure out where they want to be. Do you want to be famous? Like you said, okay. Or do you want to make a lot of money? Now, everyone's going to go to say, like, well, Connor makes this. You're going to take the, the top zero, 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 number zero, one, number one, one percent. You're going to take that top zero, 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 one percent and try to use them as an example. But that's not the case for everyone else. Like, look, Patrick Mahomes makes all this money, five hundred and fifty million dollars. OK, for a 10 year contract. OK, but I can just tell you that his DBs are not making that money. They're not making anywhere near that money. OK, Um. Then it says, I see these elite fighters that are fighting in Bellator, PFL, and I'm like, hey, you guys, no one's watching. I, I, would, have dis I, would, I would have agreed or disagreed with you a little bit, but in terms of the level of which the UFC, is, they are getting their views, he's right. They weren't watching. Also, when we went to Showtime and nothing against Showtime, I loved everyone that I worked with there. The numbers weren't there. We went from actually, we went from CBS Sports, which was doing about 300,000, uh, 250 to 300,000 um watches or views when we were on it and then we went to sh then we went to showtime which was a paid platform which we went down to about one hundred twenty thousand views and, you know and sometimes it only hit a hundred thousand views depending on what it was you're losing half your market when you do something like that so i agree i agree yes people were watching and at times they weren't watching but in this scenario where we when we finished out on showtime there was it was very rare that a lot of people got to watch 200,000 300,000 it was rare but you, um, and you got you got to look take that as a point though when when you look at the number of people available mm -hmm. you know cuz we'll take bellator real quick bellator was with spike there was 90 some million available mm -hmm. okay and then they did one, one of their shows did you know 3. Point some million with yeah. uh thing but then they went from there to paramount it went down to 50 54 million then they went to cbs sports 35 million mm -hmm. then it or no i'm sorry that was 48 million then it went to showtime which is a pay, uh, you know a paywall 20 20, 20 million, million yeah yeah 
It's like you're you're cutting your ability for people to see you away yeah. just right there. He's look, Joe's not saying anything that's wrong. He's he's speaking his mind. He's correct on a lot of things. It says here, it says, but the reality is the XFL and the and and there's the the CFL, then there's the fucking NFL. And look, John and I have been very clear. 